Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Advanced Microeconomics Lecture 7. Uh, today we are going to start a uh, numerical on non-zero sum game. Uh, let's start. Uh, in the next, I am going to show you the table that uh, what's about the table that is a P of matrix and uh, P of matrix is showing the strategies which are followed by the form A and form B. You must remember it that they are the two forms form A and form B and that follow the two strategies. And uh, the point to remember is that in any payoff matrix, the first number of each combination of strategies refer to form A and second number of number refer to form B. What it mean? Maybe you don't get what it mean. I explained it in the table. See here, you have to understand first this meaning of this term then it will be easiest for you to understand the pay of matrix and to solve the numerical see this is the table here you can see here are two forms from a and from b i'm giving the separate colors so you can easily understand my concept if I am giving the red color to form A, what will be the strategies over followed by form A in this table? The first number that is followed by form A, this is the first number, this is the first number, this is the first number, and this is the first number. These first number will be followed by the form A. While this is the form B, second number will be followed by form B. I think so it's clear to you that uh, form A uh, uh, will follow the first numbers of the strategies and form B will follow the second number. Again you can see here first number of each combination first number of each combination of strategies refer to form A and second number refer to form B. I think so it's clear to you First number refer to form A and second number refer to form B. From this table, you can easily understand the concept of dominance method. I already have explained to you definition of dominance method and uh, non-zero sum game. Both of terms are, you know, have already explained. No, you have to understand the concept of non-zero sum game and dominance method with the help of table. Let's see. Form A. Form A actually has two type of strategies that it can follow. For example, Form A can follow two strategies, low price or high price. First, we see if Form A only adopt high low price from a if adopt low price strategy it has the option of one it has the option of one this one if from a adopt the strategy low price it has the option of one if from a let's see if from a charges a low price it will earn one million dollar and it will earn one million dollar in the case if form b form b also adopt the low price strategy if form b also adopt the low price strategy then in this situation form a will earn one million dollar but if when form a is adopting low price strategy and form b is adopting high price strategy then in this case form a will earn three million dollars clear if form a is playing low price strategy there will be the two case one and three but one case depend 
वन मिलियन डॉलर फॉर्म ए विल अर्न वन मिलियन डॉलर इफ फॉर्म बी आल्सो प्ले लो प्राइस लो प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी बट इफ फॉर्म बी प्ले हाई प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी फॉर्म ए विल अर्न थ्री मिलियन डॉलर्स क्लियर सेकेंड ऑप्शन सेकेंड ऑप्शन ए फॉर्म ए प्ले हाई प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी एंड फॉर्म बी आल्सो प्ले लो प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी एंड फॉर्म ए इज इज अडॉप्टिंग हाई प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी एंड फॉर्म बी अडॉप्ट लो प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी वट विल बी दिचुएशन माइनस वन वट इज शो डैट वेन द फॉर्म ए फॉर्म ए अडॉप्ट हाई प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी एंड फॉर्म बी अडॉप्ट लो प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी फॉर्म ए विल हैव टू लूज वन मिलियन डॉलर एंड इफ फॉर्म बी अडॉप्ट हाई प्राइस स्ट्रेटजी फॉर्म ए विल अर्न टू मिलियन डॉलर क्लियर इट विल बी द केस इन हाई प्राइस केस फॉर्म बी अडॉप्ट लो प्राइस फॉर्म ए हैविंग द लॉस ऑफ वन मिलियन डॉलर एंड इफ फॉर्म बी अडॉप्ट हाई प्राइस फॉर्म ए हैविंग द profit of टू million dollars. Mean when the firm A play one strategy, there will be the two option, low price or high price. It depends upon the choice of the firm B which strategy firm B adopt. You can see the explanation here, which I explain you in the figure. And all these keys actually represents to the situation of This represents to the situation of non-zero sum game with a saddle point occurring when each firm charge a low price earns a profit of one million. This will be the case. This will be the case. You can see here if this policy. Firm A adopt low price and firm B also adopt low price. Both the firms will earn one million dollar, one million dollar. In another case, if firm A adopt low price and firm B adopt high price, there will be the loss for the firm B. If and the case of high price, if there will be the loss for the firm A. And in case of when both adopt the high price, both will earn two million, two million dollar. But in this case, consumer will be affected. So it's the best strategy that both adopt the low price. So it's the best strategy for both the firms to adopt the low price. Firm A also adopt the low price strategy, and firm B also adopt the low price strategy. In this situation, both the and will be will earn one million dollars. This is the case when at the low price. Earns a profit of one million dollar, and this is actually saddle point for both the firms. But if both the firms collide, uh, which is actually illegal for the market situation, both firms can charge a high price and increase their profit to the two million dollar. This is the case. When both the firm adopt the high price, both will earn the two dollar, but it is illegal. This was uh, actually the numerical on non-zero sum game. Already we solved the numerical on zero sum game. Let's have some criticism on game theory. First criticism on game theory is tit for tat behavior. It means that what's it means that do do what your opponent do. Do to you, your opponent, what the person has just done for you. It means that is your opponent betrays you. You also betray your opponent, and if your opponent cooperates, again you cooperate also. What it means mean you have to play according to your opponent. If your opponent favor you in some strategy, you have also. Have to um, favor your opponent, 
and this situation you see in the table when firm A is also playing the low low price strategy, firm B also play low price strategy, and if firm A play high price strategy, firm B also play high price strategy. This situation actually presents the tit for tat situation. Next is game theory. Actually, <coughs> views game theory. Game theory views the world in excessively pessimistic light. It means that the course of action chosen by the first player will not be that person's best because uh, there will be the worst outcome of his strategy for the purpose of providing worst possible outcomes. And uh, third one, <coughs> you can see here. Third one is game theory has added <coughs> game theory has added a new and useful dimension to the analysis of oligopoly. Actually, uh, oligopolist often adopt more dynamic behavior and spend considerable efforts to improve the worst possible situation. And uh, to solve all this situation, the game theory has also added another feature which uh, also clearly describes the dimensions of oligopoly. It's all about today. <clears throat> today. For more practice, uh, I am um, giving you PDF file of solved game theory in numerical. So it will be convenient for you to understand the concept of zero sum game and non zero sum game in detail. And uh, <clears throat> in case of any confusion, discuss in the comment bar. See you in the next lecture. Allah is.